So they wanted to go pick them. And, and I think virtually every one of them is considered better, smarter, uh, would be a better president than her. But we can't allow her to be president. She's going to destroy our country. She'll ruin it. I mean, already, the, uh, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous what she's saying. Um, I, you and, know and by the way, the youth is so important because youth tends to be Democrat. And as they get older, they become Republican. Oh, <laughs> my God. We can't wait 50 years. That's not going to happen anymore. I've talked about this before, but this whole idea of like young people are liberal when they're young because they if you if you're not a liberal when you're younger, you don't have a heart. If you're not a conservative when you're 30, you don't have a brain. I'm not saying there aren't young people who are conservative. Obviously, like the Groypers are usually are young men almost exclusively. So I'm not saying that doesn't exist. However, the fact is that we are now graduating. So so if you look at a timeline, OK, the left has been trying to take over the public school system since the 60s. Right. But it takes a long ass time to produce enough teachers to take over the public school system. I mean, we're talking decades here. So this is what the long march through the institutions was. It was, first off, taking over the colleges and universities, which gave them the colleges of education, where you train the teachers. Once they took over the colleges of education, now they're just churning out leftist teachers that are indoctrinated into a far left ideology that go into the public schools to teach that ideology. It takes a long time to get as many teachers as required to take over the public schools, to get them in the teaching positions, to get them in the administrative positions, all right? They succeeded around 2008, 2009, 2010. The reason I know that is because that is when equity departments started popping up in every single school district in this country. And you can go on their websites, and I'm the only one that's done this research. You can go on the websites and find the equity plans that started around 2008, 2009, 2010. They started becoming ubiquitous. Equity is code for Marxism. Anytime you hear equity, that means a far left political ideology is ingrained into the public school system. Okay? So if you look at that timeline, Say 2009, when, when Barack Obama got inaugurated as president, which, by the way, the left also says that when Barack Obama got inaugurated as president, we moved into a post-racial society. What that means is they no longer were perceiving the issues of racism around skin color. They changed to looking at systemic racism or institutional racism. What that means is a reference to capitalism because capitalism is the institution that upholds racism. Capitalism is the system that upholds racism. So they they completely shifted their strategy. And this is why when I when, when the left talks about whiteness, they mean capitalism. They don't actually mean skin color. I know that's new information for dissident right wingers who might be here. I'm not what I'm saying is like you're talking about two different things. OK, so. I'm not trying to poo-poo the issues that dissident right-wingers have. We just need to put that aside because it's just not the same issue that the left is talking about, all right? Your issues around, like, uh, demographic changes, all that's valid. It's just not the same issue. So 2009 is around when the long march through the institutions was completed. What does that mean if we look at a timeline? We are now graduating. The first high school and college classes who have been completely in the fully captured public school system since since it got fully captured. That means they've been learning the far left political ideology since they were five years old. This is the first time this has happened. I graduated from high school in 1999. Now, obviously, I'm 29 years old. But in real life, I graduated from high school in 1999. When I was in high school and middle school and elementary school, it was not captured by this leftist bullshit. That's why I came out differently. That's why older people come out differently. Okay. It's not to say we didn't get any of it. Of course, I got some of it. I went to college. I, I absolutely got indoctrinated by communists in college. I, I was taught in college that communism was the highest evolved form of society. But it wasn't in all my classes, and it wasn't from the time I was five years old. So we're talking about a fundamentally different ballgame. You have to understand that the way the brain works, 
anything you learn before you are eight years old is like almost permanently cemented in your brain. It is extremely hard to change after that. And so we're talking about kids graduating from high school, graduating from college, being fed this bullshit in every single one of their classes, almost, since they were five. What that means is they're not changing this time. It may have been true in the past that people grew, they, they were liberal when they were younger because they had, and because, you know, you, you do get some of these ideas, but by the time they get older, they become conservative. That may have been true in the past, but we are talking about a completely different ball game in which now they're raised in this almost from birth. They're not changing this time. It's just not how the brain works. So while there are people who do escape the indoctrination, and again, Nick Fuentes' audience is, is an example of this. I mean, honestly, like, and again, I, I hate to be this brash about it, but like, it could be that the young men could save us because for some reason, they like there there's a groups of young men it may it may have to do around dating it may have to do around these ideas ruining women like if for some reason didn't it didn't stick in the same way but that's not but that's not to say that just because there are groups of young men who are not impacted by this that's not to say that it doesn't have really broad reaching implications. And the implications are they're not growing out of it this time. And everyone needs to understand that. And if they're not growing out of it this time, that means all future students. This is not just for a couple of years, right? This is every student that goes through the public school system moving forward is not growing out of it with rare exceptions. This is why the K through 12 public schools are the only issue that matters. Because they're completely captured. It will take generations to unwind this to to solve this problem. It's really an unfixable problem. It will not be fixed in our lifetimes. This is why the defunding of the public schools, the defunding of the Department of Education needs to be the most important thing. This is why people have got to stop sending their kids to public schools. You need to homeschool your kids. Get them into a homeschool pod, move to a school choice state where you have that money available to you so you can hire tutors. You can work with other parents to pool your school choice money together, hire pri private tutors for your kids. Because the, the public schools are irrevocably effed. And not only are they not teaching people how to read, they're not teaching people how to write, they're not teaching people how to do math, they're only teaching social justice and activism. Not only that, but they are completely effing up our entire society from the get-go in a way that is virtually impossible to fix. And if conservatives don't start understanding this, and they don't start understanding how serious this problem is, they're literally going to die off. Conservatives say the left is going to abort all their kids, which isn't true, by the way. The left literally has daycare programs for their kids that teach kids how to be socialist, all right? The left is not aborting all their kids conservatives are sending their kids to be indoctrinated in public schools in a early and at early enough an age where they're never growing out of it it's conservatives who are doing this it is not well i mean the left is doing it but conservatives are buying into it because they still have this this notion that they'll just grow out of it it'll be like when i went to school and i was i was a lefty and then i grew up and then i grew out of it it's not the same thing this time and people need to understand that we can make the move now <laughs> All of you young people, and he's got a lot of them. All I know is my kids say, Dad, you have no idea how big this interview is. I said, don't tell me that. But uh, make the move now. Don't wait 50 years. Our country doesn't have 50 years.